if I knew what was going to happen. So everything. If you knew exactly what was going to happen, that people can find out if they read My Body, Their Baby, which you can get at uh, Van Fenwick Press, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. no. Yep, or through my website. Through oh, the original Van yeah. Fenwick Press. Or Amazon.com. Or Amazon.com. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. To be in bookstores soon. Soon. It'll be in bookstores, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd do it again. You would? Yep. Um, I regret the loss of the friendship, yeah. but um, I would do it again. Well, since you just mentioned the loss of the friendship, uh, you did get a call updating you about your friendship and what happened to your friend. Yep. From her husband, who you call Patrick. I guess all these names are, are not real names, right? Correct. Even your own children? Is no, my children, oh. anyone who's related to me or Those could give real. me consent okay. is real. Okay. But Patrick, who comes across as a real jerk, uh, called you up. You're not going to get this way, are you? Hmm? You're not going to let this go, right? No. No. <laughs> No, he called you up to let you know. <laughs> no, don't say what it. Happened to your friend. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, I, I I I'm just amazed at what he said to you, and I, I just want to know your reaction to it. People will have to read it to find out what he said. But what People have to read it to find out my reaction yes. is. Okay, so <laughs> <in there laughs> well. yes. It is in there as well. Yeah. Uh, given the reaction, gives it away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's a, it's a very uh, interesting. Thing. And th that guy was consistent, i got to say. Every yes, time that he, he talked was. to you, he was the same rude guy. Yeah. Uh, but he seemed to really love his wife. Yes. Yeah. And, he uh, did. Uh, and I want to say he's rude. I don't think he was rude, actually. I think he's actually he was pretty charming. Um, you think that was charming? <laughs> well, no. I don't know if he's p being portrayed as charming. But no, um, no. he was not a rude individual. Um, well, the phone calls that you that, Well, had that, that phone call very, was very rude That calls. phone call was yeah, very that rude. That one and a couple other ones he made were really rude as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if rude is the word I'd use, but okay, yeah. we'll go with that. Yeah, well, it's, it's a family <laughs> show. So yeah, okay. I, mean, I would use other words to describe it. Now, uh, I understand that you, uh, to promote the book, are you, are you actually uh, going to be doing talks and things like that? Yeah, you I'm know? here now. <laughs> How far do you reach? <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Uh, no, I mean, are you going to be doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing a about? lot of. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing a lot. Of, I've actually done a couple talks, and I'm doing a lot of um, grassroots uh, marketing through book clubs, women's book clubs. So I've actually will locally or even semi-locally. I'm actually going to New Hampshire, but um, I will go to a, any book club and sign books after you've read it and talk about it and that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm, it's all grassroots until that one person hits the holy grail, and yeah. then it's no longer grassroots. So we'll mm -hmm. see. Now, did you get any uh, any kind of? Uh, you know, feedback from your family and from friends, and and, and since the book came out, yep. in terms of uh, the whole thing, what do, what did people say to you? Some of your friends, maybe who I guess all your friends kind of knew what you were doing. No, no actually, no, not yeah. all of them. Well, it's thirteen years ago. Now I've only lived in Massachusetts for ten years, so um, okay. you know. Tell us a little bit about that. What the reaction was for people who know you now? Um, the reaction has been very positive. It's um, it's different. I was waiting for my total stranger to read the book because I. You know, the thing is, when you read a book, you don't necessarily hear someone's voice, and y you're making it up in your head, and you don't see what the person looks like. So, I'm waiting for that. I was waiting for that total stranger who didn't know me, did, had never heard me, to read it, because mm -hmm. then obviously it's a true read. Um, I think when you know me and you know the story, or even if you know my daughter, or you know my son, or you know my husband, and you've got the connection there, then there's a connection to the book that you know sort of makes you a little biased. So, but. Up to this point, the, the uh, reaction has been awesome. Very emotional reaction to the book. Um, even people who knew the story or only parts of the story were very emotionally um, touched by it. Well, I was touched by it, and I, I didn't know anything about you or the book or the story. Well, you did meet I, me, uh, though, before well, you no, started Well, that, that was after I read it. No, you did not. No, you met me once before. I did? Yeah. Oh, okay. When was that? JCC. <laughs> no, that was the, you know, at, the, at the expo? Yeah. Oh, and I, already, I had read the book. You had read it already? Oh, yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. I had, the, I had read the book before that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I, I just thought it was, it, it's a very emotionally uh, gripping book. It keeps you reading. And I guess that's, you know, for the publisher, that's a good thing. Hopefully. Right? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> it, it is. It is a good thing. I, I guess um, uh, what I said to you before, Laurie, uh, before we went on the air, I said, do you have a, a follow-up to this? Because there's so many questions that come up. It, it, it it's naturally lends itself to a uh, follow-up book. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think the follow-up, I mean, I, I'm, I'm writing, the book started as a journal when I started the book, and it was a journal for Meg, um, just so she could have a keepsake of the pregnancy. And right now I'm doing a journal. Um, and so the journal at this point is, is where I am now and, and what's happened since this book came out. So, I mean, it's possible, maybe. We'll see. 
Yeah, we can yeah. Say, we'll say. talk yeah. about the exciting TV yeah. shows you're on. Yeah, there about. you go. There's a whole chapter right there. Yeah, just uh, on you. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, now, Mike, uh, I, uh, what are you doing in terms of uh, as a pu publisher here in terms of promoting the book? Marketing, sales is always the most difficult thing, so we're we're working on that. I'm dealing with a marketing firm. Yeah. Um, try to get out. You send out tons of books to reviewers. And like Laurie said, you know, you hope someone of relative importance can do a good review on it and mm -hmm. spur some sales. Yeah. So it's just, a, you know, drudgery work, sending the books out, dealing with firms, trying to get speaking engagements. You know, it's just keeping at it. I would assume with, with the, uh, the success of... Uh of the codfish book and, mm -hmm. uh, and my son's war and, and this one getting some attention as well that people out there uh, want to get their books published and you must be getting some some uh, queries. I get, I get I get calls all the time yeah. about people wanting to have their books published. I you know I'm leaning towards just doing nonfiction at this point. Fiction is much more difficult to market. Um, children. His books are very difficult, and poetry is virtually impossible. Yeah. You know, I find. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm finding nonfiction is much easier to market, is and even that's difficult. Are you actually looking for for things to do uh, for for publishing, or I, I get I get correspondence all the time through my website. People are always calling me. There's there's plenty of authors out there who have written books. Is there is there something else that you're going to be working on next, or? Um, well, probably you know maybe my son's book or something. That would be the that that's the next in the pipeline. My son's book on his experiences in Iraq. And subsequently, up to this time, yeah. so that sounds like a good one. Yeah, that he, he's had some good life experience. It's a timely uh, thing, though, right now. Yeah. Well, the war's been on for yeah. uh, for a long time. Yeah, now, so well, we don't know when it's going to end. No, so. we don't. Yeah. No. So um, now, if, po if folks want to uh, get the book, it's called "My Body, Their Baby." Laurie B. Miller is the author. It says the true story of a woman who offered to act as a surrogate for her friend and discovered she had to give up more than a baby. It's pretty much saying it right there. Oh, yeah, that, that, the that's us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We spent a lot of time on the, uh, you know, you spend a lot of time on these little details, the cover design, the uh, the title the of the Look book. The picture right here. Can, we, can we zoom in on this right here, the back picture? See, we zoom in on this and then and then zoom over to, to, to Lori and see what you think. <laughs> Why is it yeah, yeah. Okay, there's that picture. Now, now go right over to Lori. And, uh, see. <laughs> I, think, I think you look better in person than on the Thank book. you, so thank you. That's, that's, that's my of course, no one's seeing me in person, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are. They're seeing you in person right now on the show. So they're getting to meet you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I want to wish you a lot of luck on the book. It's Thank a great one. Thank you very much. I really, Thank you. I really enjoyed reading it, and uh, it's an interesting thing. I, I told you, uh, you know, I look at it from a, a different point of view. That whoa, I, 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 I would. I, I'm looking at it from uh, not. I didn't live through it. I'm just reading it, and I was like, wow. Just briefly, I've asked her a, a hundred times the same question you did, why do you do this? Mm -hmm. And her only answer to me is there's sort of a disconnect between the way men think and women think sometimes. And that sort of com <laughs> comment from the camera person, that's okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, just not, it's not just that. I mean, yeah, not the fact that she, that she did it, that you did. I'm not I'm talking about you right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm here. But I mean, um, that you did this for your friend is a cool thing. But my, I'm questioning the actual depth of the friendship there. I think it was a little bit different than you portrayed it, uh, th than you think it is. No. Nope. Yeah, but nope. that's what, I, as I'm reading, that's, that's what cause I... That's because you're that's a guy. Like, it's because I'm a guy. What were you going to say? It's because you're a guy. I'm a guy. That's... <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of, we're guys. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's it. No, I mean, I, you know, she was, yeah. she was a very, very close friend. I wanted her to have a baby. Uh, that I understand. I just, uh... I, I just, just her reaction, the stuff that she did in exchange uh, during this whole process didn't seem like uh, someone who was a close friend responding back that's uh, my but I'll, but no one ever had a baby for it before so <laughs> how can I you know I, 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 I there was no way to predict any of that yeah no I understand that of course you couldn't predict it and, no. and even when you were going through it you weren't even thinking about that no. because you were just thinking about the baby and, yep. and the happiness you were going to give to your friend which yep. I think is a, a wonderful genuine thing that comes across too Thank you. Of course, you wrote it. It should come across. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to do a little bit of news. When we come back, we're going to talk about mortgages, and we're going to talk about the uh, Home for the Brave uh, on the way back here. I've got a couple of quick uh, items for you because uh, we're going to actually uh, tell you about a couple of things that are going on in town. Uh, I wanted to quickly congratulate uh, Samantha Pickett and Zach Schwartz from the Stoughton High School for uh, getting the uh, Academic Excellent Awards from the Massachusetts Association of uh, School Superintendents. Congratulations to them. And also the uh, Stoughton High School Hall of Fame for Extraordinary Achievement.